Well, howdy folks. Today we will be talking about what to hunt this year. Um, so we'll be talking about hunting moose, elk, uh, deer, we got bear, cougar, antelope, hogs. Um, and so we're just going to be talking about kind of, um, you know, what do you want to hunt and what makes sense and what kind of meats would make sense to hunt. So, um, so for elk, it's obviously going to be better meat. It's going to be less gamey. Um, it's going to be delicious. Oh, elk sausages, patties. They are so good. I love them. Now, the con about this is that they are very heavy. And so dragging them out out of some places can be very hard. And so, um, you know, just comes with consequences. Um... But, obviously, it can get you much more meat. Much more meat than, like, a regular deer or buck. Um, and they can have much bigger racks. So, for trophies, if you're looking for a good trophy, those racks can be really good. If you're just, you know, maybe looking for a uh, antler you just want to put on your wall. Or maybe it's a whole uh, neck, head deal. Um, that can be, you know, that can be really good trophies. Now, that comes with the flaw of more expensive. Elk is very expensive, whether it's the tags, the license, um, the guns. I mean, uh, the guns, um, you know, just the butcherer, the trophy, all more expensive than a regular buck. Now, we're going to move on to deer. Um, if you're looking for kind of a little bit more tough kind of, you know, meat where you just got to pull it apart, um, whoops, <laughs> ringtone, um, it's more gamey meat, and so, um, if you're looking for that, that's really good, but, you know, it definitely has more gamey flavor to it, um, and it also has less meat than, like, say, an elk, or obviously a moose, um, and, but that also means they're going to be lighter. So, you know, my uncle and I, my dad went uh, hunting and shot a deer. Much more easier um, to drag out. And, I mean, we put this thing on a giant four-wheeler. I mean, you know, whereas you can't do that with an elk. We just, I mean, sure, it was white trash hanging over that four-wheeler and stuff. But you can't do that with an elk, you know. Um, So that's really nice about deer is they're a little bit lighter than elk. Um, which means they're going to be less expensive than elk for the butcher, the license, and the tags. Um, but that means the trophy, um, if you're looking for a good trophy, it can be smaller than an elk, you know? It just depends on what you get. Um, so, yeah. And next one is bear. So these ones, if you're looking for a trophy or a rug or a blanket, these are definitely ones you want. I mean, even a coat. I mean, these have, the bears have the best, um, you know, they can make the best blankets or rugs or, um, you know, coats. Or if you just want a trophy sticking out of your wall, you know, I know my, one of my uncles has a black bear, you know, just sticking out of his wall going like that. Um, and it looks really cool. But uh, the meat itself is not going to be quite as good. And, I mean, it's not. No, it's not really that great. I mean, it depends on what you like. Um, it's super gamey, super tough, thick, obviously. Now, hold on. Let's see. There we go. Uh, super tough and thick and gamey. Um, so, I mean, it depends on what you like. Some people love it. Some people hate it. And a lot of people hate it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and it can also just be for the adrenaline, adrenaline and boast of just shooting a bear. Um, so, yeah. Next is the moose. So the moose uh, can be kind of dangerous. I know a lot of people who have got uh, uh, not killed. I mean, you hear the stories about people getting killed, but more just like getting charged and stuff. And, um, so you're going to be shooting usually at more farther distances. Um, can, let's see. 
the meat itself can be very tough and thick, but it can be very good and juicy and like the meat can just be amazing, but it is gonna be tough. Um and I think it kind of depends on again if you like gamey because it's gonna be more gamey actually it's the meat is gonna be more gamey um but yeah it can be dangerous to do that but the trophies are I mean they are unforgettable you know they are priceless they are so cool you know um yeah and then antelope you know this is still on the list because the the meat can be very good. The meat on antelope can be very good. Um, and they're super light, you know, and they're not hard to find. I mean, obviously it depends on where you live, but usually they are not hard to find. And so, I mean, you could come up one, on one maybe 50 yards to 200 yards away and take them down super light. A lot of times they can be in a field, just drag them out super easily, and you got yourself an antelope with obviously much less meat than, say, I mean, it depends on the size, but much less meat to, say, an elk or a deer even. Um, and the trophies itself, I mean, they can be pretty cool, but definitely not as cool as, you know, some other. But if you're just looking for a little meat for the year, um... They can get you that little satisfaction you need. Um, cougar. This can be a very dangerous hunt. So, um, I mean, these guys are meant to stalk you. And they are meant to, um, I mean, yeah, they're meant to just watch you. I mean, if you're living in Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, those type of places, you could go 10 years without seeing a cougar, but they see you. Um, so yeah, it can be very dangerous, so they can be very dangerous, and, um, yeah, but, uh, that saying, they can be, um, actually, some people think they are very, very good meat, like, super good, others don't, so I think it definitely depends on what you, what you prefer, so, um, but they can be amazing trophies like so cool i know my uncle he has a trophy um with just a mountain lion just like perched on this rock and it's above his staircase so when you walk down the staircase you can like look up at it it's really cool so great trophies and even they can be great um rugs you know if you like rugs um so yeah um and again that can get your adrenaline going that can be a good adrenaline adrenaline thing and last but not least, hogs. These beasts can be <clears throat> can be great meat. I mean, dude, that they're basically walking meat. I mean, these things are so thick of meat. Um, and so, oops, um, and so yeah. I mean, they can be ex good meat. You can get a lot of meat out of them, which means they can be heavier for how for how um small they are but um and they can usually be um like like the antelope they can be it depends on where you live but usually they're pretty easy to find but it can still be very dangerous i know a lot of people including my grandpa who have got chased by them and um is very scary um and so yeah and there's a big pop like huge population um, especially in Texas, on hogs, and so you never have to worry about, um, them going extinct, so you could kill, like, 30 of them in one year, and it wouldn't even take 1% of them out, um, yeah, so they can be pretty easy to shoot, I mean, all you gotta do is put a bullet in their head, um, they're not that hard, and so, yeah, that is all guys, thank you for watching, please subscribe guys, it really helps out the channel, like the button, and um, comment down below if you guys have any other questions on anything uh, relatable, or if you guys have any ideas for other videos, thank you guys, have a nice day.